is the Chinese cooking channel called Chinese Cooking Channel. Today we're making a Chinese herbal drink. We're using gin and we're going to make this bottle, uh, store it for about at least six months and we'll have some uh, great health benefits. So this is what it looks like after 10 months. So it turns a nice amber color. So we're going to try some of this. I like to have my drink uh, with ice so it's called neat. So just pour your drink into the glass here. Ooh, that's nice. You got that real nice sweet flavor from the uh, uh, red dates. It's got a unique flavor. So you gotta try this. We're going to check out some uh, herbal ingredients that we need for our herbal drink. So let's go inside and check it out. This is a traditional Chinese store that sells all the ingredients you need for Chinese cooking and for your Chinese traditional medicinal herbal tonics. Here you can find the hard to find exotic ingredients as well as the traditional Chinese herbal ingredients as well as common items like the fermented bean curd and the shrimp paste for everyday Chinese village cooking. Be sure to treat yourself once in a while with your favorite candies, such as the white rabbit candy that I first tasted when I was a kid. This is an ingredient I use to make a herbal drink. When I drink too much or when I eat too much fried foods, here we have different varieties of herbal ingredients that you can use in your recipes. So just write down the name of the ingredient in English if you don't know how to say it in Chinese and ask one of the store clerks and they'll find the item for you. Be sure to check with your local Chinese medicine practitioner or your local Chinese herbal store to get the right ingredients that will benefit you the most. This is a herbal drink that my grandfather used to make. So these are traditional Chinese herbs. We put this uh, in a container. We put some alcohol of your choice. Okay, from all Gaitu, Waisan, Ujung, Hung Do, Hangin, Yuengu. So to make this drink is very simple. Gather all your ingredients together and we're just going to put the ingredients into the jar here. So this is a big uh, jar that we have. It's going to hold both bottles of the the, uh, the uh, gin. So some of these ones are fairly common. These are goji berries. Uh, goji berries are supposed to be good for vision. Uh, this uh, red date fairly common. It's uh, used to make soup and these are uh, longanberries. Uh, these are sweet. So what this does is actually it helps uh, the flavor uh, of the uh, gin. So the uh, sweet berries actually uh, make this gin uh, sweet. So it's a unique taste. So I like to drink this gin uh, chilled. Uh, I drink it neat. In other words, I don't add water or any uh, other kind of uh, drink to it. It's just straight up with some ice. Uh, you can drink it warm. You can also serve it in soup, uh, Chinese soup. And, or you can just... Uh, uh, you can mix it with uh, other liquids, but generally I just like to drink it straight up. Uh, just going to put the uh, lid back on and then we just use a uh, tape so it doesn't evaporate. We're just going to tape it on the side here. I use this masking tape. You can use uh, any kind of tape. So this uh, prevents the uh, liquid from evaporating. So just go like this around the edge here. Go a couple times. And then uh, just put the date. Take another piece of tape and put the date on so that you know when you bottled it. And then uh, we'll know how long you stored the, uh, the uh, gin. 
So it's usually good to start for at least um, six months. So uh, you can see the alcohol, the gin is clear. So this is a bottle of uh, Hennessy Cognac. So the liquor actually turns black. And then you see all the, uh, the berries and all the ingredients in there. So this was a bottle of uh, Hennessy Cognac. So empty into a bottle. We've had that in the jar for a few months. We're ready to drink that. Hennessy Cognac with the special Chinese herbal ingredients. So this is what the uh, gin looks like after 10 months. It turns uh, from a clear color to a nice amber color. So the color changes to this dark uh, amber color. Now we just put the uh, Chinese herbal drink into the uh, original bottles. And then I have two more of these bottles of gin. So this is the uh, large size 1.75 liter bottles. So we start the whole process again. And then we'll have a nice steady supply of Chinese herbal drink. So you can use other kind of gin too. So I have this uh, Bombay Sapphire. It's a nice uh, gin to drink, but we're going to make some uh, Chinese herbal drink with this as well. Just pour the uh, liquid back into the original bottle. You can drink it just like any other alcohol. So I like to drink it like one ounce at a time. So you see that? So I have this uh, bottle. So just put the uh, cap back on. Put the cap back on and you have a nice uh, Chinese herbal drink. So I'd like to wish everyone all the best to your health. Ooh, that's nice. Has a nice uh, sweet taste to it. Uh, the uh, the flavor is really fantastic. You gotta try this. Thanks for checking out my video and be sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe so you can get the next new video. And thanks to my viewers for helping me win the top 20 best Chinese food blogs in the world. And also I was awarded the top 40 China YouTube channels in the world. And also, uh, please subscribe, just press the button.